Ninja. Hello and welcome to this, the sixth video in the Windows Movie Maker Basics series. And in this video, we'll be learning about titles and credits. Titles and credits are a great way to add a little professional touch to your videos. Placed at the beginning, they let your audience know what the video is about. Placed at the end, they can let you know who's made the video. And placed in between, they can take the place of a voiceover for shy filmmakers, or even provide language translation for your audience when featuring foreign speakers. So how do we get hold of the text and titles? Well, actually, in much the same way as we access most things in Windows Movie Maker. You can either find the Titles and Credits tab here in the task column, or click on Tools, then Titles and Credits. And here it is, the Titles and Credits control panel. The first thing to decide is where you are going to put this particular set of text. We are given four options. Title at the beginning, title before the selected clip, title on the selected clip, and credits at the end. Although these placements are not set in stone and can be moved later. For this example, I'll choose on the selected clip. You are now presented with a text box with two panels, one for main text and one for subtext. But there is also a configuration without the subtext box. And if we click on the Change the Title Animation tab, you can see that the titles come in three flavours. Titles one line, titles two lines, and credits. And in each category, there are many different styles. To see what each style of title looks like, just click on the name of the style you're interested in, and a simulation of how it will be presented will play in the preview window. For this example, I'm going to choose Stretches Up and In. And there is an example of how it looks on the preview screen. To add your own text, you need to click on the Edit the Title Text tab here. Then, just enter your text in the text box. As you do so, you will see an example of how it will look appear on the preview screen. Now, you don't have to stay with the default text styles. If you click on the Change Text Fonts and Colors tab, you will find a number of controls with which you can alter your text. This control allows you to change your text style to any font that you have on your computer. Just run through the list, find a font you like, then click on it, and you will see the results updated on the preview screen. And next to that, we have controls that will let you apply bold, italic, and underline attributes to your text. This control here lets you change the text color. If you click on it, choose your color, and then click OK. And there is the new color. The transparency slider allows you to make your text more or less see-through. Handy, for example, for subtitles that might otherwise obscure the action. The size buttons here allow you to increase or decrease the size of your text, just like this. And the position tab allows you to justify the text to left, right, or center. Once you are happy with your text, just click on the Add Title tab, and you will see your title appear on the overlay timeline here. This overlay can be moved to start anywhere you choose. And like audio and video files, can be trimmed to make it longer or shorter by simply clicking and then dragging the right edge. If you need to change anything, then double-clicking on it will take you back to the edits controls. And if you want to get rid of it completely, then just right-click and choose Remove. So there you go, all the information you need to become a titling master on Windows Movie Maker. Well, that's all for this video, I hope it's been of some help, and I'll see you again in the next and final video of this series, when I will show you how to render your edits into an actual movie. Until then, take care and bye bye for now.
Mija.